Hello and welcome to your UCC Student IT Training, presented by UCC Student IT Services. My name is Adina and I'm a full-time student here at UCC and a part-time staff member at our Student IT Help Desk. Today, we're going to walk you through the essential student services you'll need to get you started at UCC and show you where you can find more information on the services that you'll encounter in your first term. Many of the services we'll discuss here are available through the UCC Student IT homepage. However, for the purposes of this workshop, we will be using the New to Student IT section of the Student IT website, a designated page for new UCC students. This can be accessed by clicking the New Students button from the menu bar at the top of the homepage. Firstly, we will discuss logging a support ticket with the Student IT Help Desk. Student IT support tickets can be divided into two categories, incidents and requests. Firstly, we will focus on logging a request. Requests are used when you need a specific action, such as password reset, MFA reset, or software license key, or need further information on specific service from our student help desk. To log a request with our student help desk, click Student IT Support. Here, you will need to log in with your student IT account, enter your UCC student email address, and your student IT password. Once your password has been accepted, you will need to verify this login using MFA. From here, select Log a Ticket. On this page, you'll be able to select one of several specific requests, such as MFA reset, password reset, and more. As you will see, each request ticket is tied to a specific action or piece of information that our help desk will assist with. Each individual request will be slightly different, but for this tutorial, we will focus on request for information. Select request for information student. Fill in your student email address, fill in your student name, enter the information that you're requesting here, Please be as specific as possible. Click Review and Submit. Click Submit. You will now receive a ticket number for your request, and our Help Desk staff will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Now we'll look at logging an incident. Incidents are used when you are receiving an error message or experiencing an issue when attempting to use one of your student services. To log an incident with our Student Help Desk, from the Log a Ticket section of the Services portal, select New Incident. Enter a summary of the issue, enter a description of the issue, click Save Incident. You will now receive a ticket number for your incident and our help desk staff will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Next, we'll move on to accessing the Student IT Knowledge Base. The Student IT Knowledge Base is our online catalog of knowledge and help articles. Here, you can search for further information on specific UCC services and look for guidance on issues you may be facing. To access the Knowledge Base, click the IT Knowledge Base from the New to Student IT page. If you're already logged into your UCC student account, you will be brought directly to the Student IT Knowledge Base. If not, you will need to log into your UCC student account as shown previously, before being redirected to the Knowledge Base. From this page, UCC students will be able to view our entire repository of online knowledge articles. Using the search bar at the top of the page, Students can search the knowledge base for articles relating to specific student services, such as MFA, as well as searching for error messages or issues you may be experiencing. Remember, if you can't find the information that you're looking for on the knowledge base, you can always log a support ticket with our help desk. Now, we'll move on to your student Canvas account. Canvas is an online learning environment through which students can access information from lecturers for various modules. They can view lecture notes and other course material, as well as see and submit assignments. To access Canvas, click on the Canvas button on the New to Student IT section. If you're already logged into your UCC student account, you'll be brought directly to the Canvas homepage. If not, you will need to log into your UCC student account, as shown previously, before being redirected to the home screen. Once you've logged into Canvas, you will see your dashboard, which always displays information about your current modules announcements, and an activity stream that shows recent activity in your modules. In the courses section from the left-hand side menu, you will see each of the individual modules you're registered for. Contained within each of these modules, you will find the course information, assignments, and more that have been uploaded by your lecturers or course coordinators. An introduction to your course is available through your Canvas dashboard. Please be advised this course is mandatory as part of your first year orientation. Finally, if you have any questions or issues regarding Canvas, you can access the Help section from the left-hand side menu. Here, you can see the various student help platforms available from Canvas. 
including the Canvas Support Hotline and the Canvas Support Live Chat. Next, we look at your My Timetable account. My Timetable is an online UCC platform that allows students to easily create a personalized timetable corresponding to your registered modules. To access My Timetable, click on to the My Timetable icon from the New to Student IT page. If you're already logged into your UCC student account, you'll be brought directly to My Timetable. If not, you will need to log in into your UCC student account before being redirected to the My Timetable homepage. Once you've logged into the system, you will be able to search for the registered modules in order to set your individual timetable. Click Find My Timetable from the left-hand bar menu. Use the search bar to search for specific modules. You can find the module code for specific modules from your online registrations in My Student Admin. Search for all relevant module codes in this section of My Timetable. Once you have selected each module code you're currently registered for, please click Next on the right-hand side of the screen. You will then be brought to the Activities section of My Timetable. From this page, you can choose the individual lectures associated with each module that you would like to add to your personalized timetable. If you wish to add all the relevant lectures from the module you've selected to your timetable, please tick each box listed on the activity section. Next, select Preview on the right-hand side of the screen. From here, you can adjust the dates to confirm your timetable has been created correctly. You will see the time, date and location of each individual lecture you have previously selected. Select Save Timetable. This timetable will now be stored in the Timetables section of the homepage and can be accessed anytime. From here, we will now show you how to access your UCC student email. Your student email while studying at UCC is run through your Umail account. This Umail account is accessible through the Umail and G Suite section of the New to Student IT webpage. From the pop-out menu, click on the Umail and G Suite hyperlink. If you're already logged into your UCC student account, you'll be brought directly to the Umail homepage. If not, you will need to log into your UCC student account, as shown previously, before being redirected to the home screen. On the home page, you will have access to your UCC student email inbox. From the menu option in the top right hand corner, you can get access to your student Google Calendar. UCC provides all students with access to Microsoft Office. Students are given access to the online version of Microsoft Office applications as well as a license to install Office on their personal device. To access Microsoft Office, click the Office Login button from the New to Student IT webpage. If you're already logged into your UCC student account, you will be brought directly to the Office page. If not, you will need to log into your UCC student account, as shown previously, before being directed to the home screen. From the Office homepage, you will have access to Office applications such as Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and more, from the menu to the left-hand side. To view the full list of applications you will have access to, click the menu button and explore all apps. The applications listed on this page will give you access to the online version of the listed applications. Students will also have the option to install Microsoft Office on your device by clicking the Install Apps button on the top right-hand corner. It is important to note that you will see Microsoft Outlook listed as an application. Please be advised that as UCC student email is run through Umail, you will not be able to access your student email through this Outlook application. UCC students get access to printing services on campus. From the printing page, students can access our print submission system, uPrint. Top up their student print balance and view our printing tutorials and information. Multi-factor authentication is a second level verification necessary on your student account. You will have previously set up MFA on your student account prior to registration. More information can be found regarding MFA on our dedicated webpage here. Using the self-service password reset tool, students can reset their own UCC student IT passwords, provided MFA has been set up on the student account. To access the SSPR tool directly, or to find more information on strong, secure passwords, view our Password Reset webpage here. My Student Admin houses your student record information, your course registration and module selections, as well as biographical details, are stored here. 
Exam results and timetables are also released through My Student Admin. For access to My Student Admin, click the hyperlink on this pop-out. EduRoam is UCC's on-campus Wi-Fi. All registered UCC students will have access to connect their devices to EduRoam. For a step-by-step -step instruction guide to getting set up with EduRoam, please see the hyperlink here. The student IT guide can be found here. Information regarding laptop loans can be accessed from this button. A list of software available to UCC students is accessible here. Online IT training modules can be viewed from this section. Information regarding registration and fees is housed on a separate website, which can be accessed from this section. Library and student IT desk information is accessible through this section. Thank you for watching your UCC student IT training. Remember, if you have any questions regarding our student IT services, you can log a ticket as previously shown or contact the student IT help desk. Remember to follow our student IT Instagram page for regular updates on student IT information.